of January 1st, 2023, the following things will go into effect, and people need to be aware of this. <clears throat> it abolishes cash bail for almost every offense. This includes, but isn't limited to, kidnapping, armed robbery, second-degree murder, drug-induced homicide, aggravated DUI, threatening a public official, and aggravated fleeing and eluding. Offenders released on electronic monitoring have to be in violation for 48 hours before law enforcement can act. They could almost drive to Alaska before we can even look for them. It denies victims their constitutional rights. And keep this in mind, businesses and homeowners, officers will no longer be able to remove trespassers from your resident, residence or your businesses. Someone could decide to live in your shed and all we can do is give them a ticket. You have to decide what level of force is required to remove them and whether or not it's legal. This is a massive threat to the residents of Orland Park, Cook County, and Illinois. What's going on, people? Southern Knights back at you again with another video. Before you watch this all the way through, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Links in the description box. Feel free to donate. And let's talk about this situation in Chicago. And the reason why I showed y'all that video because I wanted y'all to see what this sheriff from this Illinois County was basically saying about the laws that they will not enforce. And kidnapping was one of them, let alone the other laws. Now this is gaining momentum on the internet, is widespread. They already saying that they not enforcing some of the laws no more but here's my take on it what do you think going to happen when that city gets so chaotic you think if the cops can't um do nothing about all of the criminality that's going on in chicago what do you think going to go in there next federal troops the same federal troops that trump talked about putting in there most likely the UN. And the UN is going to be over here anyway. <laughs> that It really supposed to happen in 2020, but now the situation is long overdue because law enforcement is getting thin in this country. It ain't enough people on the force to cover these crimes or cover these areas, especially these counties. So now, you are stuck with basically defending yourself, offending for yourself. So what do you, what will happen? Let's say um, the first of next year, 2023. Let's say all of this stuff just take place. Chicago is basically going to look like um, the last, not the last of the purge, not the forever, not the forever purge, but the purge the first purge is going to be similar to that situation and for those who haven't watched that movie i suggest you to watch it especially at this particular time here because that movie is going to, to be a mirror of what's to come in chicago so imagine all the groups the games the rivals all of this stuff that's going to take place there now, whether they enforce this or not, <laughs> the, the way he said it, it looks like they already on the verge of trying to enforce this law or policy. I don't know whether it's an executive order. It, it gonna have to be at this particular point. If they talking about not doing or enforcing all of them laws, including kidnapping, and the rest of the, um, I think a robbery was another one. If they talking about enforcing all of those laws, well, not enforcing those laws, then I feel sorry for the residents. Y'all might need to get out of there. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep it real. Y'all might need to get up out of there. 
because Chicago is already kind of going downhill. Not kind of, they, they really going downhill. And nothing is not going to be done about it. <laughs> nothing not going to, it's not going to be done about it. That's going to be the reality there in Chicago. A lot of crime, no law enforcement. Then when it get too chaotic, bring in the federal troops. And then once you bring in the federal troops, their ammunition is a lot different than the local law enforcement. <laughs> they coming in with tacticals. Now you're really gonna have an all out war because what they got on the streets of Chicago is similar to what they got into the third world countries that's currently going to war right now. So don't think it's gonna be just a quick sweep or walking apart. It is not. <laughs> so <laughs> I, I, I don't I don't know what to say, man. It's like when I was watching this, I was like, man, what in the world? Then they got the purge playing and the music playing in the background. So I'm like, yo, it's about to get stupid. Look, man, this this right if people don't leave Chicago after he's saying that in droves, then I'm convinced that they like that type of environment. Though the people there like that type of environment. You just call it, you can say, but this home, or nah, man, it's like nothing's worth your life. Because it's gonna be a free fall, no holes bars. It's definitely gonna go down there. It's definitely gonna go down. And if you still there, um, after this year, Matter of fact, the first of January, then, hey, <laughs> you probably gonna be subject to the crime that's happening there. So basically, what that's basically telling me that more states might adopt this. And I truly believe they saying it because they not able to stop all of it anyway. So I think they just now coming out and just basically saying, look, we ain't gonna come out you got to drive um, down there to Alaska before we come to get you. Basically, if you cross over to the border, they can't do nothing. So, my thing is, y'all might need to start getting your concealed carries because I got a feeling states like Detroit and other cities like this is going to adopt this same stance. I can't even call it a law. I don't know what it is. Only thing I can call it is the purge. So whoever did that music in the background when he was saying that, that's that's the perfect example. Because that's exactly what it is. It's a purge. And I knew that movie I knew that movie was made for a reason. Now, now you starting to see it in real time. But the difference is with, with this one, this is gonna be like the forever purge. Notice that the last movie that came out was the forever purge. So if they not coming out and actually seeing this or seeing or stopping these crimes, then you are gonna have a lot of people that's going to forever do this. Robberies, purse snatchings, kidnappings, you name it. All, all of this stuff is going to take place um, the first of this year. The first of this year, <laughs> look out. This is why I've been doing those videos lately about moving into rural areas because now you starting to see the strong city network that they about to implement up there in Chicago. God, that's another name for it if you want to, if you don't want to use the purge. Look up the strong cities network. All the agenda 21s, all, all of this stuff that people was talking about since 2012 and even before that is now about to come a reality 
it's now about to come a reality in Chicago. I hate to say it, it's about to come to re become a reality. So that's my take on it. This is the reason why I want to do this video. I want to do a live to see what other people think about it. And matter of fact, I might just do a live after this and just get y'all opinion on this. I might just do that or I may do it tomorrow depending on what come out or what transpires out of this situation because it's gaining momentum right now. So that's my take on it. And other than that, I guess I'll catch y'all on the next video and see what happened here on in. But till then, catch y'all later. All right, y'all, peace.